Gael a Casla, Nuva am Hayusrislam, Noreen Hunt, and I live in Fort Rupert. And um, I've been asked to help you make a button blanket, and I hope you're going to have lots of fun with it. And I'm going to show you how to make it for your teddy bear, your doll, or whatever you like. Okay, the first thing you need is a couple of, um, we're going to do the teen one first. Okay, so the first thing you need is two, this is for the teen one, two 20 inch length and the width will have it there for you just um, two pieces of paper, I mean material, and then what you're going to do is you're going to measure what I asked you to measure to do the borders, and the borders are right here. Now once you get the borders cut, you put it down on top of the black, and that's basically the button blanket. What happens is this part here goes around and all this will be hanging. And then um, you're going to make a um, design of a killer rail and we'll have this all in the, in the kit. You cut it out and you place it right on top, wherever you like, not too high and not too low. Just make sure that it looks good. And if you have enough blank um, material, you can do two back to back. So it's up to you, uh, however you want to, however intricate you want. Um, so this is the basic, and then from there, you're going to sew all the edges like this onto the black. And it's all with overhand, just straight overhand sewing. And that, um, then you're ready to start working with it. You're going to do sequence all the way up and all the way across. There's different patterns of sequins that you can use and you'll see that there's a variety of different types of uh, patterns you can use. And um, the last thing you'll do is put this up here. This is just a material of any kind that you like or want to use on your blanket. It can be for, it can be your baby material, it can be your graduation material, something really special. And you put that up and then what that's gonna do is it's going to sit um, up here to when it, you put your blanket on. And it, um, they say that it um, it goes with you where wherever you go when you're dancing. There's that special material, and you get um, and with when you're dancing with your blanket. When you leave, when you're in a potlatch and you're going to dance, you've got your blanket up. Then, when you go out, you'll see people turn all the time to the left. And that means you're going into the spirit world. When you finish the dance and everything's like the dance, the singers have stopped, then you're going back into the back to take your blanket off. And you turn and that brings you back to the world here. So it's really important and you'll notice that um, when everyone, the blankets can be used for, there's several different types of potlatches. 
It can be used for graduation. It can be used for any special event. If there, if somebody's going to have um, a special event, they invite people, and you can bring your blanket and use your blanket. So there's, it doesn't, it doesn't just sit in your closet. And um, I've, I've had. Uh, National Geographic that has taken pictures of me and put it in into the National Geographic with my dancing. And um, I've had an art show that went throughout Europe and uh, went to all, uh, all the museums. So it's really um, special to us. and. Uh, I think that if you're really interested, you could always get lots of information from the libraries. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, and I think that's it for the uh, teenage blanket.